Now check this tadpole color chart from a recent study. Those color names on top are all the colors of the bottoms those tadpoles were over. Now we've all seen crayfish crawl out from under rocks and be dark colors. How about this one over a sandy bottom? So maybe we should be carrying lighter colored baits just in case we end up fishing over lighter colored bottom areas. Now we all know smallmouth water is typically very clear and most people end up fishing goby colors. That's typically a green pumpkin with a little bit of gold or purple flake. So then how do we explain the brown back color of flatworm working so well? Is it really mimicking some other bait fish down there or is it really mimicking gobies over a light colored bottom, which is where a lot of those bigger smallmouths are found in that sandy type area.